Today on Prime Time, we're going to explore how the farm-raised animals you might be accustomed to eating don't taste the same as a wild animal. So we've come down to Louisiana, to Isaac Toop's backyard, to learn a thing or two about wild duck. Or something like that. This is the legend Isaac Toops. Hi. And that's Brent. Thank you so much for inviting us to your home. Welcome to New Orleans, guys. I appreciate it. I, I, I have birds, moonshine, beer, and a hot pot of wax. And an overwhelming sense of hospitality. Uh, I can't turn it off. And we are going to learn about wild duck today. I've never had it. I've never had it. I've got it. So, female mallard. We're gonna do the uh, the lost wax process. So instead of dipping this in hot water and manually peeling the feathers off, which yeah. would be a pain in the neck, we're going to dip them in hot water, dip it in wax, and then an ice bath. And then hopefully, luckily, all the feathers come off pretty much all at once. It's really cool, really, look, really cool effect. Let's butcher these up a little bit at first. Everybody gets their own. I'll do the first one. So we're gonna de-wing our duck. Uh, seems like you've uh, done this before. A couple times. Cut the legs off at the joint, leave the head on for dipping. This is the best part. Give me your hat, put this in the back. Oh! Now that's your lucky feather. Watch, put it right here, and you'll look like real Cajun. Look, Ma. Cajun Ben. <laughs> Cajun Ben. Has anything been done to this duck yet? It's been shot. Okay. Okay, step one. Nothing else. I haven't given it a bath, I haven't given it a kiss. Okay. But we are ready to go. Now you guys got some uh, blue wing teal. Here we go. You're gonna want to take it off as close to the breast you can get, give it a good whack, and then you're gonna take the legs off at that first joint. Leave the head on. Here's to uh, doing things back. for the first time. Watch your fingers. We can cauterize a wound, but uh, you won't like it. I believe in you, Brent. Wow. All right. Let's dip our ducks. So excited to see this process. I've never heard of this. Will you hand me some ice and a water? You need a water? Yeah. For the Thank gentleman. You. Ah, water. Salute, gentlemen. I don't yes. kill. I don't kill ducks without without a beer. I don't think this is water. All right, we got it. We got our hot water. Just give your duck a dip. Just about thirty seconds each. Let her drain. Wax. Wait till the air bubbles calm down. You don't want that wax to seep in. I do not understand the science of this. I'll show you. Since we're encasing it in hot wax, it's gonna look real obvious real quick. All right, dip your duck. Dip it a duck. So we'll leave it in here. Let it rest. Let the air bubbles recede. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh man, you can it gets gets hard really quick. Alright, Brent, you're up. Dip, Dip that, that duck. duck. Woo! Feel it. It's pretty cool. Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> right? It feels cool. Now we're gonna do some stuff right here. Feel it. It's now encased. Yeah. And then we're gonna score it. You're gonna cut right through the feathers. Try not to cut into the breast, but I realize this is everybody's first attempt at this. Oh my what god. What the fuck? Yeah, right? And all the feathers come off. Holy cow. Kind of one maneuver. What the heck? Easiest way to clean a duck ever. What the what? Now normally this takes you what, half hour per duck, and we just trimmed it down to a couple of minutes. And after this, we're going to just de-breast these things. I'll clean this up later, Amanda. Pop the joint off right there. Got our first breast. That little bitty breast. That people don't realize. We're just looking meat. That is oh, a beautiful yeah. color. This is wild meat. They're a little tiny, but they're okay. What they lack in size, they make up in spades in flavor. Then we're going to gut it. And if you've never done this, this is always fun. Just get in there and... Get in there yeah. and reach for the guts. All right, so we have the heart right here. So tasty. A few of those, beautiful, so, beautiful, so beautiful and tasty. Very underrated. Now we have our gizzard over here. Now gizzard gets thrown away a lot. Now the gizzard you have to clean. So the gizzard. I've never done this. Yeah. They eat the grain whole, they don't have teeth. They swallow the grain and small rocks. And what you'll find is that inside the gizzard is a bunch of rocks. Feel this, sand. Yeah. But this is like one of the hardest working muscles in the duck. Who's up next? Give it a good score. 
Want to go light? Yeah. yeah. I'm already in the breast. So, I'm already in it's there. It's okay. It's okay. Just get in there. Let's get down to business. These ducks are like half the size of the mallard. Right. These what's, are, the, what's the difference? So these are blue wing teal. They're just smaller in size. Will there be a difference in taste? Or is it more a difference in taste wild versus farm? There will be a lot more difference between wild and farm than wild to wild, especially these ducks were killed in the same area. Okay. So these ducks are eating pretty much the same thing. Okay. In which where you're going to get, um, you know, the, the, the wine term would be terroir. Whatever they're eating from around is going to reflect in the flavor of their meat. I have deep feathered chickens and turkeys. I've never done a duck. They are notoriously not easy to do. You're doing great. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I'm just having a blast. I'm good. just having a good time. We have already poured you a beer. It's the AM. I would give myself a C minus so far. I think you're doing just fine. I think Amanda would be more realistic with me. Oh, you're doing terrible. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, the better you clean your own duck, the better, the better you eat it. Yeah. I'm eating mine, you eat yours. That's, that's the, that's, that's the, that's the just, rule here. You, you just decided that rule because you just, just saw mine. Just now. Yeah. And then yeah. just yeah. get in here with a hand. Get in there with a hand. You can make an incision with a knife if you want to. <sighs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one realizes like how gutty. It's been a while. Yeah? It's been a while. Yeah, Got my gizzard. Mm -hmm. That one's coming off nice and good. We're pulling these things apart, and like the color here is just insane. Right, you're not gonna match that on anything farm raised. For everybody that doesn't know, this is the color your meat should be, not your white chicken breast, which I don't eat or don't sell at my, my restaurant because I can do that. These ducks were working. Yeah. They, they were using their muscles. This is where the flavor comes from dark meat rules. I mean, this is a lot darker than you're gonna see in anything raised on a farm as well. So. Anything raised on a farm, I mean, these they're eating what's out there in mother nature. So I know they're gonna be, it's gonna be, have a wonderful, strong, oh, when I say gamey, I mean in a positive way. It's gonna taste like that's the earth. Thing, when yeah. I, when I, when I, it, it, I that's why I'm almost hesitant to say it because people say, hear gamey and all of them go, oh, that's oh, bad. Yeah. And, I like I that. And, I, and I think no more like mother nature. Farm raised, the, the, those ducks don't really work very hard. And most of, most, most of them have their feathers cut. They're not flapping their wings. So that, that, that's almost what we consider white meat. That's why chicken has white meat. You never see a chicken fly, they don't use their wings. There we go, there we go. Heart will, heart will be the last thing. You could feel it. Yeah, if you had one, you could feel it. First, we're gonna have a snack. Hold, take, take top off. We have a little spice blend, so we have some whole black peppercorns, cumin, and mustard seed. This is uh, my game spice. Whose is this one? My heart, that's my heart. This, 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 we'll go Brent. Smallest and darkest. Skewer them up. Skewer them up. So we got some gizzard, we got a little gizzard skewer, duck hearts and duck, uh, duck gizzards. This is what you eat while everything else is cooking. Normally, these you can cook well done. The legs and everything else really need to be stewed down. We have a saying in the restaurant, as local as possible, and this is about as local as it gets. These ducks came from the greater New Orleans area. I think that's what's so cool about everything in New Orleans that we've seen thus far is that like, you can try to recreate this stuff in other places, but... It's not really work out that well. No, nah, like you have such local ingredients and you use every bit of everything that like it really builds the dish, you know, from, from the bottom up and you can't, you can't find that in any other place. All right. Cheers. Thanks, bud. Cheers. Mm. That steaky tastes like duck. Terroir. Terroir. Bar, bro. It's got the flavor. It's like that tastes like it came out of the sky. Delicious, the, delicious like, gizzard. This, this is gonna have a little bit of chew on it, but, but that's okay. Go ahead. And that's gonna have a different flavor. Whoa, I'm way into that, right? That muscle was working hard. That muscle is, is actually you know, taking small rocks and sand and grinding up those grains for that duck. We eat so much grass-fed, grass-finished beef and we can taste like the grass and the minerality, but I've never tasted it in a duck so clearly like, oh, this doesn't taste exactly like the duck I'm used to this farm. This thing's been eating seafood its entire life. Let's compose a professional dish. Now, this is a variation of a dish that I did on a popular TV show. It rhymes with Bop Beth. NCIS New Orleans? <laughs> right. So it's traditionally with venison, but it works equally as well with wild duck. I'm gonna serve them about the same temperature, about mid-rare. Yeah. You don't wanna overcook your venison, and we're gonna base it with brown butter, because again, good venison or good game, you're not gonna have a lot of fat. So while we're cooking on this, uh, what the hell are we cooking on? This is uh, very much 
quality Cajun engineering right here. I have a thousand dollar smoker and I have convection ovens and we can sous vide. But cooking over fire is a very important lesson. This is the hardest way to cook. Trying to manage a fire, how hot your grill is, you really have to know what you're doing. You're giving yourself a great education. If you can cook over open fire, congratulations. You can probably cook anywhere else. Let these rest in a little brown butter. Add some fat content to them. Cook them just about medium, mid-rare leaving medium. We're gonna take our very fancy plate up here. Put a little horseradish creme fraiche, caramelized onion grater. And if everybody knows me, I'm the worst plater in my entire restaurant group. And of course, you gotta finish the top. And this is essential. This is gonna melt the mustard a little bit and add even more fat to the content. There you have it, gentlemen. I gotta say, for something that we were uh, ripping out its guts about 30 minutes ago, this is a beautiful looking dish. Cheers, fellas. Salute. Didn't taste like duck I've had before. We're not hiding the ingredients. The duck still comes out. The sweetness helps out. The brown butter adds yeah, the fat. Absolutely. I'm but, glad that's all there, but it doesn't need it. On its own, it eats like steak. You're not gonna find this in a farm race. This is not a chicken breast, this is not a duck breast, this is a steak. <laughs> like duck steak. Duck steak. This is the same like when we when we had the hearts, you taste the terroir in there. Like I don't I hate to use that word again, but like no. you what we were calling gaminess earlier, like there's no other way to describe it other than like the earthiness. There's like a a completely different flavor profile than what you normally get in duck, which now I'm realizing like I'm a fing idiot. Every duck I've had is like pretty bland. And I've been enjoying it for the fat. <laughs> right. Because they never taste like they, this. They don't taste like this. And right. What I'm doing is unfortunately guys, I'm spoiling you. Because now when you, you eat are. you can you keep spoiling us. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't think it gets more Louisiana than this. Isaac, this is phenomenal. Thank you Gentlemen, for giving us an experience we've never had before. Thank you so much.